I wonder how excited you have all been to see a lot of the Jim Chalk ASMR. Well, I am with you because I have loved watching it and I'm really excited to not only do it, but also to talk about the chemistry of it. Of course, of course. I have to talk about chemistry. So when you buy Jim Chuck, at least from the place I got it, it comes in these adorable little packets. So it's almost like your birthday. Opening them up. So nice, nice little cubes. So I'm going to finish unwrapping a couple more. And then, why don't we crumble some up? so soft. And I like how they feel. They're just so light. The sound of that. So Jim Chalk is calcium carbonate. So calcium, of course, is in our bodies and it's very abundant in the Earth's crust, as is carbonate. Carbonate is CO3, 2 minus, so it's an ion, negatively charged, minus 2, which balances out the plus 2 from the calcium, which makes sense because of course, I have to have a periodic table nearby at all times. <laughs> and calcium is in group 2, so it loses 2 electrons to become plus 2. But why don't we... Why don't we... Crumble up a little of, that, little of this calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate is formed by ionic bonds. So formally, this is a salt. It's very insoluble. Partially because those ionic bonds are so strong. So it's difficult for water molecules to reach in and separate those ions from each other. As I said, calcium.
calcium is very abundant in the Earth's crust, which means it's also very abundant in the oceans. So the sea creatures, many of them have shells, right? That are made of calcium compounds. And as I was saying a little bit earlier, calcium carbonate is not very soluble in water, right? So that's good for the shells because then the sea creature shells can stay intact in the oceans. But what happens when we have too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? When the concentration of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, what happens is that it begins to dissolve into water. Water can have gases that are dissolved in it, just like oxygen is dissolved in water, which allows fish to breathe, just like that carbon dioxide dissolves in water. But the interesting thing about carbon dioxide dissolving in water is that unlike oxygen, oxygen just dissolves in water and it stays oxygen. Carbon dioxide, on the other hand, reacts with water. There's a chemical reaction that occurs and turns it into carbonic acid. Unfortunately, what can then happen is that the oceans and other natural waters, when carbon dioxide dissolves, becomes more acidic. And that can react with that insoluble calcium carbonate and other calcium-based compounds that make the shells and dissolve them. And I would like to show you this chemical reaction happening. is related to what I just talked about. So, calcium carbonate. And now, let's imagine that we have an acidic ocean. We 
What do I have here at home that I could use to simulate an acidic ocean? probably seen what happens when you pour vinegar into baking soda. That's sodium bicarbonate. This is calcium carbonate. The bicarbonate means that it's carbonate but with a hydrogen ion attached to the ion. So, this anion, CO3, 2 minus, is related. It just has one less hydrogen. So, what do you think will happen when I pour the vinegar? onto this calcium carbonate. Let's see. See and hear the bubbles. What is that gas that's forming? Yes, carbon dioxide. From where I am, it sounds like it's raining outside. <laughs> the fizzing. So this is an acid base reaction. Carbonate is acting as the base. And our vinegar is the acid. It looks like I reached its limit, meaning all the vinegar has been used up and we still have a lot of calcium carbonate left behind. So that means that the vinegar is the limiting reagent. It's all reacted away. Well, I'm going to <laughs> break up some more of these pieces. And I know I didn't do any calligraphy today. But I still hope you enjoyed a little bit of the chemistry that goes along with Gem Chalk. <laughs> so.
so many people love Jim Jock. I think I could watch it for hours. Well, thank you for joining me. And let me know what else you would enjoy me doing, whether it's teaching you concepts or doing some demonstrations like this one. Or if you would just want me to do some more Jim Chalk. Or maybe there's another chemical reaction I could do with Jim Chalk too. I have some leftover. Thank you so much. And also thank you for all the kind messages. I love your messages. So keep them coming and I will keep these videos coming. Is it a deal?